Colorado. Congressman, you told reporters earlier this week the governor Abbott, quote, set death traps in the Rio Grande. Tell me what you mean. Well, the governor started by placing razor wire uh, in the Rio Grande, and they placed some of it in such a way that when the water rises, it becomes invisible to the migrants. In other words, people can't see it because it's under the water, and so they run up against it. Uh, and then he followed that up by putting uh, these barrel traps. And it's not just these buoys or barrels. They've got this netting them, this, this wire netting underneath them, which can trap people. Uh, and so when people come up against them, they can get trapped in that wire. So taken together, these things are really death traps. Uh, they're drowning devices. And we've seen the result of that already. Uh, as was stated in that email by the trooper, uh, there was a woman who got stuck in the wire who was pregnant and who miscarried and didn't get the help from state troopers that she needed. Uh, there was a four-year-old girl who was passing out in the water and because of the orders that were given by state leadership, that little girl was pushed back into the water rather than helped uh, immediately. And so uh, this is uh, just barbaric behavior. And Texans are shocked, they're outraged, and they're embarrassed that the governor of Texas would do this to human beings. Go, uh, Congressman, you and I both know, and we've talked about many times on this program, how the answer to reforming immigration system writ large lies in the hands of Congress. There would need to be appetite and motivation on the part of Republicans in Congress in order to bring something to the floor that was truly humane, fair, comprehensive. In the absence of that, we are left with what we are seeing at the U.S.-Mexico border. And you have called on President Biden to intervene in Texas's border practices. What type of action would you like to see from the administration? Uh, well, you're right. And I'm glad to see that the Department of Justice has stepped in and given Texas until this Monday, until tomorrow, to describe essentially how they're going to remove uh, those barrel traps, those buoys. Uh, and then if they don't respond by Tuesday, the Department of Justice is going to take legal action. So I would like them to take that legal action if necessary and file an injunction to stop Greg Abbott from his inhumane practices.